guys and welcome back to my channel for another vlog another spot of arena eventing but i'll be honest i feel like today i don't know if i'm feeling a little bit more nervous because i feel like there is actually something i want to achieve out of today if that makes sense not that i'm not putting pressure on us but the idea of going to these arena eventing competitions is that one of my goals is to try and get to the championship. So BE is holding like a winter series of arena eventing. And this is the first one that is closest to us that I can get to. So we're going off to Down Farm, somewhere, a new venue that I have never even been to. Addy, of course, has never been to. It is near Exeter, so a little bit of a drive, but not too bad. There are more qualifiers coming up. There is going to be more held at Down Farm. There's one at Pontesville, Chard, which is somewhere else I've never been, but I've always wanted to, and Bicton. So it doesn't need to be today that we obviously qualify, but that is why I am doing this and, yeah, aiming for it. So if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Like I say, I am trying really, really hard not to put too much pressure on myself, but I don't know if I just feel that little bit more nervous, excited, because it is actually for something. Of course, like I say, she's never been to Down Farm. The venue looks beautiful and the arena and everything from what I can see on pictures. So I'm actually really excited, but it is going to be a bit different, different styles of cross-country fences, but... After our lesson at Bicton with Cam, I am feeling confident. I've just got to be, I've got to be confident for her, but I've also got to be committed to my plans. Keep that canter together and be committed and confident to, to hold her hand to let her know that it is all okay. So that is the aim of today. It's not too early on a Sunday morning. It's just coming up for eight. We are leaving at, oh, actually, it's probably a bit earlier than that. It might be a bit more like quarter to eight and we are leaving at nine o'clock i didn't want to get here too early because i know that these girls will kick off if they're not being let out they are going to have their breakfast now um hopefully that'll keep them a bit sweet i need to see how dirty addy is she has had a fresh clip this week thankfully i have hacked her and taken her out <laughs> so i know that she is obviously used to the fresh clip aren't you you're looking rather sexy i have to say Aren't you? Are you looking super smart? So give them their breakfast. I can then load the car, make sure I don't forget anything. And yeah, it'll basically be get on the road, won't it? Yes. Another little road trip. It was picked in last weekend. We've also got the riding qualifiers next weekend as well. So I thought actually going to a competition in prep for that as well would be good. So it's not all about putting that we've got to get qualified. It is also about getting out and getting the experience um, ahead of next weekend. Don't want to let my teammates down, basically. Um, I feel like you get a little bit more like pressure when you're riding as part of a team and at a team competition because you don't want to let your other team members down, do you? So yeah, it's a little bit for that as well. Um, it was a close call because I could have gone show jumping at Cole Rain and I was like, mm, I don't know which one to do, but there is more often show jumping at cold rain than there is arena eventing so i thought do you know what let's go arena eventing and after the most grim is grimace is that even a word but the weather yesterday was awful it did not stop raining from about 10 o'clock until i think early hours of this morning um thankfully it has now stopped it is calm there's no wind and it is fingers crossed meant to be a fairly dry day so yeah hopefully we've had all the rain yesterday but anyways enough rambling from me yes i will get your breakfast so we get your breakfast Thank you. 
had their breakfast. They are just tucking in, as you can tell, no heads over the door. I need to now load up the car, but before that, I thought I would just very quickly explain what arena eventing is in case you maybe don't have it in your country or you're new here, you're not quite sure. It is basically a round of show jumps to begin with. So you will go around in the arena like you would any normal show jumping round. And then instead of finishing, you then carry straight on into a cross country round that is in the arena. So it will be like solid fences, steps, like different venues obviously have got different things. And that is probably one of the reasons that I really want to qualify to get to Aston because I just think those facilities is are oh, those double arenas and where it's got the water complex and everything it's just amazing and i would absolutely love to ride there hence the reason i am doing all of this and trying to get ourselves qualified but it's also a way to keep up with jumping solid fences throughout the winter keeping that cross-country eye in so today hasn't got any dressage it is purely just jumping but as you'll see when i take you around the course walk there is more than likely going to be quite a lot of jumps so it is quite a long course to try and remember but yeah the first part you've got to remember it kind of in two parts do your show jumping and then on to the cross country um as i say every venue has got different kind of cross country fences but they are solid and that is why we wear our cross country colors which i'm excited to wear again um it feels like ages since i've worn them so that is the next thing they're actually in the car already, but like body protector and saddle and stuff needs to get put in the car. But I just thought I would explain that just in case any of you guys didn't know. up I've been down and seen the cows I had my little daily dose of them always so happy it's trying to steal my hay net majority of the time trailer is now hitched up and then all that is left is to get Addy out check for poo stains check how dirty she is um, I'm hoping fingers crossed not too bad but I thought I'd just carry on very quickly because I didn't I suppose I said what the essence is of arena eventing but it is then like you are penalised the same. So if you knock down a fence or a refusal in show jumping, it's four faults. But if you have a stop, obviously you can't knock down the solid fences. But if you have a stop, then it's 20 penalties within the cross country. And I am fairly certain, may have to come back and confirm this. And I love how I'm like, oh, I'm not telling you the rules, but just saying what it's about. I'm fairly certain that at the end of the cross country round, you'd then have a joker show jumping fence. Now, I know I have read that um, for the championships. I just don't know if it is at these qualifiers. It is all then set on an optimum time, but I'm just going to focus on just keeping a really nice, consistent rhythm for Addy and I. Um, you're not allowed to wear a stopwatch or anything like that, so it's not like I can be timing myself. So it's then down, and then I think if you were to be joint, it's whoever's closest to the optimum time. I've given Chris his phone call to tell him he's got half an hour. And then that's given me half an hour to get you ready and loaded, Addy. Hey, I always tend to leave getting Addy or Sprite ready till the end. I get everything else done and then I get Addy done. One, I feel like if you are short of time, you can always do things when you get there to Addy. I can take brushes with me and do it there. But also, I like to bring her out. She gets tied up and then we go. Like, she's not going in and out of, like, the stable or anything like that. Um, it's just the way that I do it. I'm sure we've all got our own little way, but right, head collar on you, out here, groom, let's do it. We are loaded. She's in there, I've just stopped in the lane because I've realised I haven't actually like updated the vlog. Um, I tested, <laughs> try, so at the moment, Addy is loading, like I know that people will know about her loading. At the moment, I can get her in the box really nicely and sweetly but I always need somebody behind me to put the bar on. Addy knows that if I leave her at the front and go round to do the back, she will reverse out. Um, not in like a major panic like she used to, but 
she still she just goes ah, I can get out of here so I always need like mum or dad to be able to do that bar behind me and I want to try and be a bit more self-efficient so if anybody has got any tips to stop a horse doing that or some sort of way of getting them in she won't walk past me annoyingly which she did used to do and then I used to be able to do the bar um, I don't know maybe if I put a carrot or something into her hay net maybe that would work so that it would keep her distracted I need something to almost distract her at the front to be able to get behind and just put that bar in um, and once she's in she's absolutely fine and she reverses out and then walks straight back in again so yeah I don't want that habit to happen because she will learn but I just wanted to try it this morning why I do it on a competition day I do not know but I knew that the dad was watching so I had him there back up if I needed but I just want to be a bit more self-efficient and not always have to rely on mum and dad to be there when I want to go out somewhere um, so yeah if you have got any ideas please do let me know comment below um, otherwise let's go pick up Christopher and get the show on the road we have arrived. <laughs> the last hour has been absolute, just very scenic. Let's just say we've been the scenic route. I'm glad that we are from Cornwall and we are used to narrow lanes because we have been down some peculiar roads. And that is the problem when you just follow the sat nav, isn't it? But it's okay. I wish there was an app invented that you could say, yeah, I'm with a car and trailer. <laughs> um, to say where like good roads are, bad roads are. So I'm gonna actually ask somebody. I feel like I'm not turning up at the right place. Why do I? Um, <laughs> this is the problem when you go to a new venue, isn't it? But we see if we are here. Just don't know where the car park is. Uh, all horse boxes and trailers this way. I am in the right place for you. Um, so this is actually the yard of Tim Cheffing. I had a lesson with him with Lola cross country once, many moons ago. But yes, anyway, we are here. It has taken over three hours. Um, I'm glad I allowed an extra hour. Uh, wasn't quite expecting it to be that narrower lanes, if I'm completely honest. But it's all good. I allowed extra time. So we are all fine and we are here. So I'm in time for my course walk, which is between 12 and 12.30. So it will be a case of getting straight out and going and walking. I'm glad I didn't bring Nala. Could you imagine how filthy she'd get? Red mud. <laughs> yeah. Devon mud, isn't it? We're here. <laughs> Hopefully we can get close to that. Get deep into this corner for fence three. And we got a funky shoulder brush. And then we're out of the arena. Number seven is super skinny. Wide hands and then for the steps to come out. Oh, we've got three steps. Do the loop around there. And then coming back to fence nine. I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of these are quite spooky and I feel like I'm going to have to bring her back to trot a lot to make sure that she's concentrating and actually seeing the fences. Back over number six, number ten backwards, the penultimate fence, number eleven the castle, and finishing over number twelve. Okay, I had it totally wrong, it wasn't the end at all, we've come back out the arena, fence thirteen. Oh, and then fourteen down there. This is proper arena eventing. Nice view of the arena. And I've also realised that fence 10, you can do either the corner or the log pile, just that the log pile is going to make obviously your time longer. But I might have to go walk up to the corner in a minute, just see what I think of it. So then we've got 14 here, nice little log. Guiding you really with the path, isn't it? 14. Back over this one, number 15. Now just trying to decide. So that is your stockpile that stockpile? That is your log pile that you can jump. Or you've got this corner which is a little bit bigger. But it's still just logs, isn't it? She jumped the corner at Bicton last weekend, lovely, so I don't feel like I should have any problems with it. I'll see how she's going. 
Um, I was coming to say hello to you and was about to say how much chilled you are, which you are. Off the ramp, please. <laughs> Back, please. Careful. Good girl. Why are you walking away so far? <laughs> I was going to say that you're nice and miss chilled, aren't you? Just I've just tacked you up. You just need your bridle on. I am all changed and ready underneath. Um, I'm not going to lie, my jumpers could do with being a little bit cleaner, but I may have realised we went out for a 30th birthday party last night. And when I got back, I suddenly realised that I hadn't actually washed these from Coleraine. How bad is that? I did have another pair, but these are my ultimate favourites, so I felt like I actually really wanted to wear these. So I whacked them on a wash and then popped them in the tumble dryer this morning. So it's all good. Um, anyways, I have come in here. I have got about 10 minutes. And because the course is quite long and windy and I'm not used to this venue, I thought I would just take a minute, just sit here. It's actually really nice and peaceful and calm. And I'm just gonna close my eyes and visualize my course and riding Addy around it. What I've got, like my game plan in my head to help me be that committed of this is what I'm doing. And yeah, like I said, when I was walking out, I think I'm gonna have to bring her back to trot in a couple of places, especially like, fence three on the cross country with all those jumps there but I am planning when I first go in is to give her a big lap around the arena fingers crossed I've got enough time for that but just so that she can see the banners on the side the jumps in the corner um, and I think once she realizes she's jumping she will be much more focused on the jumps than on anything else around the arena so yeah I feel like I sound a bit shaky in my voice I am genuinely actually feeling quite nervous I feel like I can hear it in my voice but I don't know if that's because I'm at a new venue I've been heated for a little while Addy's telling me to just shut up mum we're absolutely fine um you're just very funny she's been such a good girl so so good bless her um but yeah right five minutes visualization eyes closed and visualize After a start of quite a feisty warm-up, Addy did calm down and warmed up lovely. When I was allowed in the arena, my game plan was to take her all the way around the arena just as a bit of familiarisation and thankfully I did have enough time. I entered in on the left and trotted all the way around and still the bell hadn't gone so as you just see I did a bit of a wiggle down through the middle just to get her to trot past the cross-country fences and just, yeah absorbing the atmosphere basically then our bell went and picked up canter remembering 
don't start with the canter get the better canter trying to keep that pole up and actually I really do like the canter that we had it was nice and punchy to fence number one to a right-handed turn I didn't worry about the changing of legs just tried to keep the balance in the canter as much as I could and she jumped that nicely then here this was kind of allowing you to almost make that circle really small but I tried to make sure that I did stay out nice and wide again in this corner here and I pushed for the long one Addie said no mum we're going for the short one um, but bless her, she sorted her legs out, was super speedy to get them out of the way, and then we got over the planks nicely. Then coming around, again, another circle to fence six, so trying not to make sure that I cut that corner off, and that is the last of the show jumps. Then right-handed turn, we're on the right leading leg to a nice log fence. I had thought about trotting, and to be honest, she was just so game and keen, I thought, just keep the leg on. Same into fence number two, and number three was the one that I was concerned, because it was quite sharply in the corner, and I didn't want her to be distracted, so I did manage to get her back to trot for that, thankfully and then picked up canter again onto that shoulder brush. Now here I just lost my balance a little bit. I was expecting Addie to know to go straight, but obviously she's not gonna know that, so that's something I need to take away. Came over that one back into the arena really nicely, and then we're coming around to the log pile. So just getting her concentration and making sure that she sees the fence, which she does. Then here I really wanted her to woe because that fence seven was so narrow but she had eyes on the prize, she knew what she was doing and she went so beautifully up those steps, really, really nicely. Then we're obviously out of the arena, doing that loop and here I did just bring her back to trot, just because there was a lot going on with the fences there to the side and I wanted her to concentrate. She clocked the fence nicely and then we're coming down this bank and this is where I am deciding, I'm going for that corner, we're doing it. We've got a corner at Bicton, so let's go for it and she jumped it beautifully so really chuffed that we did that now we're quite into the course and i was i think a little bit surprised of how spooky she was here around this corner this was quite hard work to get her to that castle i think she was looking a bit at the fence at the banner and then here i don't know if that maybe is what lost my concentration but i forgot where fence 13 was it was actually up the slope so did a little turn around kicked on just to try and catch up a bit of the time but I was meant to turn as you see from that log and turn left and then around here I'm not sorting her legs out I'm just kicking I'm not sorting the gear out and Addie has lost concentration I've lost concentration and Addie's like what's going on mum and we do unfortunately have a stop but I just feel like that's a stop for me that isn't a stop for Addie so I took a deep breath made sure that I gave her plenty of time to run up um, and to now she knows that we're jumping it she went into canter so I just made sure that I kept my leg on and then cantering down again I just brought her back to trot just giving her a bit of time to assess the next fence and then here we're jumping the one that we've already jumped to finish our round and huge pats as always to Addie. We're just walking off I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry um yes I let her down massively let her down I think I've been <laughs> But we jumped the corner and I felt like she jumped the corner really beautifully so that is a huge positive. Helped me out on one of the show jumps um, and yeah she was keen wanting to do it just not quite sure what actually happened around to that one at the top. Probably that I was in a bit of a fluster because I'd jumped number 12 and I was thinking I don't know where 13 is, I don't know where 13 is and yeah somebody shouted <laughs> slope and it went like that ping in my head so it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I was like thinking as I was coming around the slope, I was like, it still could be okay. Um, but maybe I was just a bit too flustered and we then had that little bit of a stop. But never mind. One of those things. I'm very sorry to Addie for letting her down. Um, she was awesome. What, Keen. Annoying. She was a bit wobbly, but we managed to keep straight and do it. And it. it's so good that we've come and done this because so it's put us in good stead for next week. We'll just aim to go there and uh, get the clear next time. I won't forget my way. I won't let Addy down. And she thinks that she's had a whale of a time. Um, but bless her, there's some different kind of fences in there that she hasn't seen. And she did it all. So I can't complain. And as I said, jumping that corner, I feel 
she jumped it really really nicely I was coming down the bank and I was like I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go for it I'm riding for it we're riding we're gonna do it and yeah she jumped it really lovely so I can't complain but I'm just disappointed in myself and it's funny I had a post to go out to say that I'm like overthinking things that I'm gonna be the one to let her down and what's happened today so I need to get that out of my head <laughs> um, but yeah right let's sort the ponyo out we've done a few laps of the car park to cool down we'll get a bit of sponged off get her a drink and then we're going home a different way. <laughs> I knew there was a reason that I picked the camera up straight as I finished because I wasn't too worried. I, I knew I was annoyed, but I wasn't too bad. And now more as time goes on, the more angry and disappointed at myself I am getting. We just spoke about it, didn't we? And we're thinking, well, I'm thinking. One, you knew that I wasn't lining up to go up that slope. Well, the way you came at the log, I was like, where are you going? You're not going up the bank if you're jumping it from that angle. No. Nope. The loop doesn't actually matter because in the cross country part you can cross your track. So actually, because I jumped the corner, timing wise wouldn't have really affected it because I jumped the corner instead of doing the log pile and all the way around. So actually the loop, but I must have jumped number 12, the log, and gone, oh, we're done. Oh no, I didn't know because I didn't think we were finished. In my head I'm going, where is fence 13? Yeah, I was, I was literally on. saying to myself, where is fence 13? Yeah, and then it's up the, the slope. Loop, you then went out your rhythm and out the, Yeah, out the rhythm. Relaxed. And then came up around that corner and I should have picked a better gear. I should have come perhaps back to trot, regained ourselves, recomposed to jump the final three fences. So yes, error on my part. I fully put my hand up and take that one. Addy was good. <sighs> it's always one of the others. Yeah. But she settled in that warm up after a while because it was a bit there were quite a lot of people because they were running about half an hour behind and I thought I'd left it half an hour but maybe they were running a little bit more and everybody was obviously just piling in there and bless her it was a lot for her to take in there was horses obviously going on like the outer loops of the actual competition and lots of people in the arena as well um but she thankfully she settled down she calmed down and warmed up nicely and went straight into the arena she wasn't too fast about these jumps over here I did manage to get a full loop but yeah never mind now got what a three hour car journey home give mum a call and uh yeah we're going back a different way putting injunction 27 into my sat now so that should take us back out to like main roads better like I said it is good prep for Bicton next week it's got her out it's got us seeing doing that sort of format of the show jumps and then onto the cross country and maybe a little bit of a kick to me i need to be more aware of my gear choice and also my course i can't believe because i've watched so many go around that course i don't get why i didn't why i didn't remember it oh yeah anyhow um i will end this when i get home Addie hopefully will get an hour out in the field i hope but she has been so well behaved so chilled by the trailer so yeah loving her she's epic and we just need to get emily up to her epicness you're a good girl yes food is coming oh my goodness what a long day i wasn't i'll be honest expecting it to be that long it's just absolutely tipped it down i have obviously <laughs> i'm still in my competition gear haven't put my coat on and just got soaked doing the hay nets so at least they've got them you okay spider you had a good day out in the field have you yeah I'm actually, to be honest, having a bit of a longer journey like that sometimes can go either way. You can either get more riled up, but then actually, in another way, you can go over and over it in your head. I've just had a little watch back of it, and it's just one of those things. It's just a little blip. It was my fault. I'm not blaming Addy. I think I lost concentration, and being a young horse, once they lose concentration, yeah, and you haven't got it either. It's kind of like the blind leading the blind, and bless her. She was epic around the rest of it. I said to Chris, I was like, I've got three really strong positives. I tackled that corner when I was nervous and wanted to do it. Um, she's again been to a brand new venue and yes, was a little bit feisty in the warm up, but there was a lot of horses, so I'll give it that. But wasn't anything like naughty. 
and once she got working she settled really really well and went really boldly into the arena everything like she was super um she's also traveled really really well today um there were some windy roads on the way in i did go to junction 27 on the way home it was an awful lot easier although we did get stuck in traffic at exeter because they're doing work on the road um so i think it's about quarter past six now so we left at nine and we're now getting home at quarter past six so it's been a long old day and like i say she's been brilliant she also went beautifully up those steps really i felt like we got the punchy canter that we had worked on with cameron to say like when it's a step really set them up and she went boom 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 up all three steps so really chuffed with that and actually wasn't really spooky at any of the fences around bar as you've seen that little blip and i'm sure i'll do a voiceover and we'll talk you through it <laughs> and yeah it was a shame because i don't feel Addy deserve that if I'm honest and I do feel sometimes that your epicness maybe outweighs me <laughs> and I want to do your epicness to justice and yeah I'll I'll be better next time Addy we've got arena eventing again next weekend which I'm really looking forward to for Cornwall Trek riding club qualifier and I feel like yeah I mean I also said to Chris like the arena eventing is an awful lot of fences and a touch word I hope I don't go and do it again but I usually do remember them, but today just obviously that left turn just completely went out of my head and I was like, fence 13 will come up. You know, when you like do lose it around like a course of show jumps or something and you're like, it'll come and it will present itself. Yeah, obviously it didn't because I'd already gone past the left turn, but it doesn't matter. It was good experience. Maybe I need to not just release that pressure that I put on myself a bit before, but no, I'm really chuffed. Definitely time to get home, give the girls their dinner and yeah, go and get mine. It's been an awful long day. Thanks to Chris for coming along. I don't think he was quite expecting it to be that long a day either. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that far. So at least I know where it is now for future reference. But as always, guys, thank you for watching and supporting. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. As always, keeping it real, lips and everything. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.